How much can a company's bottom line increase with a data scientist report? And where and how to find a data scientist to become your superhero? We'll answer all of these questions in this video. Make sure to watch it till the end. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. So who is a data scientist? Data scientist is the wizard who can structure and analyze the data that your company has been collecting directly or indirectly. Such a specialist is responsible for collecting, analyzing, and interpreting extremely large amounts of data. Among data scientist tasks, looking for patterns in the data, compiling work models, offering solutions to improve the efficiency of processes, and making hypotheses for further strategies. It is important to distinguish data scientists from business analysts. If a business analyst is interested only in a company's business performance and earning money, a data scientist works for the future by studying patterns and relationships, creating a model to predict results. At the same time, data scientists can come to the aid of business analysts. Among the required skills for data scientist specialists, Statistics and linear algebra can help you collect and analyze data. The ability to collect, classify, and transform algorithms into the format required for machine learning. Collecting data at all stages, and the ability to work with raw data, mining diamonds from them. Optimization of processes taking into account all the factors found in the course of the study. Actually, here we recommend reading our guide on the best big data frameworks out there. So. Let's move on to the skills. On the technical side, the requirements are as follows. Programming languages, Python, Java, C++, some popular databases, MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, etc. Various Python libraries, for example, Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Scilit-Learn. Data structures and algorithms, Tableau, Hadoop, SAS, etc. Do you agree that you can't be a data scientist without Python knowledge? Leave your answers in the comments. So, do you need to hire a data scientist for your project? As far as data scientist includes researchers and engineers, one should remember that researchers are more specialized in statistics and the engineers are strong in programming. Usually, companies are looking for specialists who combine both stacks. Examples of interview questions for a candidate. Tell us about one of your most successful projects. What are its results and how did you manage to achieve them? Tell us about one of your failed projects. What would you change about working on it now, in retrospect? Do you have a favorite algorithm? Describe it in detail. How would you solve such a problem? It can be both from real life and spied on in some cases. Where to hire a data scientist? We'll share a couple places where you can find good candidates. First, universities databases. You can look for graduates with degrees in mathematics, statistics, and engineering. You need analysts who know how to work with large amounts of information, and they have enough perseverance and attentiveness to carry out such work. Next option is using Kaggle and other statistics resources. Analyze comments and community to find your candidate. You can always go to LinkedIn the most popular resource for searching candidates. And finally, IT staff augmentation companies. We can take our own Jelvix company as an example here, as we provide dedicated teams of developers to our customers. Companies can always hire a data scientist from our team. Can you advise any other places to look for a good data scientist? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share our development expertise and IT professionals so make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.